I thought that was weird. But it's Dill, and there's always a button check for Dill. Uh, Zane going... No, okay. Um, Zane going to kind of a new main of sorts. Zane obviously plays a lot of characters, so... Yeah, Zane, she plays a lot of characters, but she's good at all of them, so... Uh, it's for the best that, um, she picks up a character like she, because this, I feel like is a character that, um, has a lot of potential, like, and I think Zane's the type of person that likes to explore what, like, a character's toolkit has. Thank you for the $2. You are a great person, whoever did that. Um, now let's, any $3 in chat? Let's end, let's, let's get $3 before, uh, Grand Finals. And Zane trying to get three stocks right now. Look at that. Great yeah. aggression. Knows oh how to catch Rob's landings. Still living though, and the the thing with Sheik is that Sheik's advantage state against Rob specifically is so good because of how safe Sheik is. Um, not only that, Sheik her box shifts like more than any other character in this game, um, so she just gets around things by how her her box shifts. So Zayn's taking full advantage of that, and you can see that with the house he's playing. I'm so glad you said that because I was about to mention. So Zayn short hop nares still shield. And since Sheik's Nair makes Sheik like a compressed line, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Zane could not gyro throw, or Dill could not gyro throw out of shield to punish it. And Zane, she was able to get another Nair. So really good stuff. Okay. Um, quick fair right there. And wow, great double jump bouncing fish right there by Zane. Catching Dill super duper high. Going to be able to take that stop. thing about this matchup is like it, it's I think what it comes down to is how consistent can Zane be at closing out the stocks because I feel like if you're not consistent Rob is going to be able to just make sure you die at right. such early percents and so, right now can Zane even get back on stage yeah and so that's actually a big deal um, that is character dependent Rob's gyro hitting you at ledge depends on your character's for box um, and Sheik, as it turns out, is one of those characters that does get hit by Rob's gyro at ledge. So you can't even hold on to ledge and just wait for gyro there. Sheik has to pick, a pick an option. Okay, great mash by Zane getting out of there. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people just don't like have that reaction to mash uh, pummeling on grabs, but could have potentially saved Zane's life right there. Yeah. So great stuff. Still just has not gotten any footing. The dare trying to get back to stage here really tough. Okay. Okay, no big combo, but a little bit of damage right there for Zane. Yeah, I mean, even though low damage, it was just so important that Zane put Dill in disadvantage for once because of just how long she's been getting juggled for. Wow, almost killing. Back to run I think up throw probably would have been, but a lot of stage to DI on for um, for she. Ooh, okay, that should be an opening. Oh my god. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, Nair just getting beaten out by the gyro. Um, and allows Dill to get a full punish that's going to end the stock. Yeah, Sheik's a character with nearly no disjoints. So, besides that, up smash. That is, which, yeah, invincible. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, so Gyro is something you really have to respect or be super precise on the timing to, like, pick it up. It should be big damage here for Dill. Going to see if the landing gets caught. No, back to neutral. Okay. All right, quick up throw and Dill in a good position here. Ooh. And a unfortunate up B. That is an example of PS2 sides being a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, went underneath the ledge. And again, especially with teleport recoveries, PS2 occasionally will um, kind of... Uh, Gimp, you can see, she kind of goes underneath the stage, gets lipped off. Um, yeah, well... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, she's she up B, like... Like most teleport recoveries, when you press up B, you're not going to move too much. But yeah. she can really, like, still drift with her airspeed momentum. Yeah. So, Zayn right there, um, you know, kind of new to this character. Maybe some kinks uh, to work out because not super aware that right there, she was going to be drifting so far under the stage. Going Bayonetta. You know what? I'll say it. Bayo beats Rob. Definitely. Oh. This, is, this is, like, that's, like, a legit thing. Like, um... So I like this counter pick. Uh, Zane obviously uh, very proficient with this character. Played this character in Smash 4. Obviously, this character is not as strong. However, um, still uh, a, a pretty strong counter pick character, I would say. 
Yeah, I know actually. So Zane does not have uh, the best history for, or at least at those points where Zane did not have a great history versus Dill. I know she got her first win kind of recently on yeah. Dill. Yeah. Uh, and in that history, tried many, many characters. Um, only win that I know she's gotten was with Duck Hunt, um, which I'm not even sure if it's still her main at this point. I'm I not. It's, but um, I feel like Zane's main changes everything. Yeah. But uh, that being said, in oh. that constant war of trying to fight Dill, Bayo was a character Zane tried out, and it, it was with very success. Like, definitely saw sparks where like you could see Zane winning the games, but Dill. Just able to close it out and right here, massive lead. Yeah, and uh, nice start over here though for Zane. That gyro actually did end up helping Dill out, got him out of that combo. Okay, quick down tilt into the uh, into the uh, F tilt. Um, and already 54%. This is a tough position to be in, especially if you're just about to get nared. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. All right. Well, not looking great for Zane at the moment. Uh, if you believe in Zane and the comeback of the century. Type in X place point match arena. You gotta do it before the game ends, otherwise Zane will lose. Yeah. Any believers, show your support. Oh. Uh, it's not looking too hot right now. Um, really just one more edge guard will do it here. Um, I would, yeah. I'd, I'd, oh, I was kinda clean. Kinda quick, quick mix up. Okay, and Dill obviously very aware. Um, Bayo has all that landing lag on the floor. You can punish this absolutely. Oh, and this is rough. Okay, okay but back triple jump. Yeah, Bayo, best recovery in, in the game, yeah. arguably. Arguably, I would say so. Um, yeah, Sora, Sora definitely trying to put the new name and last DLC of a game with the best recovery. So we'll have to see about that. But up air should it be enough. Okay. Yeah, okay, good DI there. Oh, yeah, that is, though. That was kind of a clean gyro. Yeah, that's, that's really a quick fast. three stock that, uh, Bayo. Uh, Zane's Bayo is actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just say not in practice. Um, yeah, it definitely seemed like kind of just like, a, I do have this character. Let me try yeah, it. Yeah, and Zane, it didn't didn't really seem like Zane was trying all that hard today. No. You know, went trainer, went joker. So. I mean, uh, it's a local, you know, that's fine. Do uh, what you want. Still did yeah. pretty well. Top still eight, still so. got fifth, I believe. Fifth, or. yeah. And in Lulu Semis, it is going to be Dill versus Start. So be ready for that when that comes up. Of course, you are watching Z.